I love this. This is going to be such a good cut. I'm going to edit ex precisely that part and then tweet it. <laughs> hey, Queso Rago. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is that is great. I love it. I love it. That is that is really good stuff. But but I mean, but you also you also studied hot, and hot definitely is category theory, right? So there is something there. That's true. Yeah, yeah. A lot of like um, a lot of hot is like, well, yeah. I mean, it's like type theory, but there's also like hot. I feel like is is a lot of analogies because it starts with this this. Thing that you know type theorists probably care about okay well, you had a type theory you've got like different notions of equivalence and like how do you sort of relate these and whatever um and then uh, what is it like vladimir vavadsky or whatever goes hey, hang on a minute uh, this is just an infinity groupoid right this is just this is just a space up to homotopy what if we used like topology to study this this like weird new kind of logic or whatever and it turns out that like the analogy just like keeps going further and further and further, right? Like higher inductive types or CW complexes, whatever. Uh, but yeah, like it's it's. I think that's really where the analogies start to shine. Is like you can you can take you can take ideas from from like topology and category theory and stuff like that, and and apply them here to like genuinely get some insight into what's going on in the type theory. 